Today on L Dre TV, we're gonna be doing another episode of Cop or Drop. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama. Today we're gonna be talking about this high cord. Have you guys seen this thing? I'm signing up. I want to be notified, but we recently found out that it's two hundred and fifty dollars. It's a little pocketable high-powered cord-based synthesizer that makes playing chords incredibly easy and enables songwriters and producers to write songs anywhere. Wow. If you look at it, you're like, 250 for that? But the person who made it, I think he's just got swag because he's always making these dope ass videos on Instagram and they're always like super fire and it makes you want it. Like that shit's kind of tough, bro. And look, they get hella views too. This one has 500,000 views. Like, come on. One has a few mil. Why not just play the chords yourself? Because I don't know them. I don't know the chords. <laughs> Straight up. I'm always super interested in all these little chord devices because they just seem fun and simple. Obviously, I need to learn keys or whatever at some point, but... My guy's playing guitar with it. Can't do that with a full MIDI. See, this is what happens when a musician makes a product because that's grade A content. That not only makes you want to cop it, but it makes you want to support the makers. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I thought that was probably going to be the tutorial. I'm not going to lie. This dude has everything. Yeah, that's what happens when, you, when you're creative and you're also like a tech nerd or something. Because that's the only way he was able to build this. If you hit the Kickstarter, there's already 610 followers of the Kickstarter. So when it does come, I think the website said the first 100 units will be 200. So that's pretty cool. Plus play chords with one button using our unique interface based on the Nashville number system plus digital synth engine. Delay, reverb, tremolo, MIDI outputs, USB-C for charging data. Fully portable with rechargeable battery and built-in speaker. What do you guys think? Copper drop. Copper drop on the high cord. Me personally, I'm going to cop. I like it. HGC says drop sadly. Why, bro? Why not? Let's see what, let's see what, what, what Blunt's and Bandit said. I'm a minimalist like Madlib. I only need my MPC and my SP404. It's cool, yes, and others can get busy, but it's not for me. I feel like being minimal forces you to be more creative. That's just me. No, for sure. I totally agree. Have them send a free one? I would. I would hit them up, but I feel like I've seen a lot of music influencers like liking their posts and stuff like that. So I only have people send me things if I really don't care about it. I want to buy this and I want to form my own opinion, opinions without having to do videos or anything like that. Dope idea, but for me, I can't see it being worth 250 150 would be more manageable. People have been making machines like this since the Beatles, but this cassette size tech is a dream come true. One finger for MIDI pad drums and other one finger that plays like seven notes to harmonize. I call this a cop. Let's do a bonus for cop and drop. Let's talk about the Astrolab by Arturia. Copper drop, Arturia Astrolab. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is the new hit thing from Arturia. It is a avant-garde stage keyboard, $2,000. I know everybody's like, oh no, $2,000. But let's remember that my OP1 field is $2,000. And this is a whole ass stage keyboard. So, I don't think $2,000 is too much. Let's find out all the details. Hardware and software, a versatile virtual synthesizer, piano field, playability, a performance setup without the complexity. Okay, so pretty much you're getting almost all of Analog Lab in this keyboard. 
So that's basically like you having a bunch of synthesizers in this one thing. There's a knob on it, synthesis engine. So I guess you can make your own stuff. You can sample all types of shit on it. Probably should just watch a video. Who's got a short video on it? Playing Arturia Keylab at our... Uh. Okay, this is only four minutes. This is always my favorite part, getting a new keyboard. Uh. So, the new Arturia <laughs> Astrolab came to me just hours before I have to catch my flight to California, and I've had just a little bit of time to get to know it. The no promise ditty, is that dog. you can now bring the whole Arturia software ecosystem to the stage without a computer. So today I'm playing Coachella, and we're going to find out if the Astrolab lives up to that promise, and we're going to put it through the ringer of a professional live setting. Pretty legendary to just stumble across this video. Damn, this dude's... This dude's up on stage with YG Marley and we just stumbled across this vid? Like all pieces of gear, there are upsides and downsides. So upside number one is that being able to load whatever you do on the Arturia software into a standalone keyboard is very good. You can do anything with VSTs, but I don't want to play with my computer live, especially not today because it's 100 degrees out. And then on the flip side, sometimes I only want to deal with my computer. Like on the way here, I had a seven hour flight and I used all that time to explore the sounds and build my playlists and banks away from the keyboard. And that was great. And when I got here, That's I just loaded sick. everything I had done into the keyboard. And I actually can't think of anything that bridges that software hardware gap as effectively. I don't know, dude. Downside number one is that you sort of have to be entirely bought into the whole Arturia software ecosystem in order for this to be useful at all, really. If you don't already have Analog Lab and the other Arturia soft synths on your computer and you aren't planning to get them, then you might as well not even consider this. And that might seem obvious, but I actually had to learn that the hard way because I got this keyboard thinking I'd have access to all the Arturia sounds and not have to deal with the software. No, that's not the case at all. So first I caved and I downloaded Analog Lab so I could even- Don't tell me that it doesn't come with the sounds. Don't tell me that it doesn't come. Don't tell me that, hold on. Do so much as to organize my presets. But then even after that, if I want to tweak the presets at all, beyond the most surface level ways, you have to buy the license for whichever soft synth is generating that preset. I know he didn't just say that. I know he did not just say that. Hold on, cause I was cop. I mean, I already have Analog Lab, so I know it's not a big deal for me, but. I actually didn't know this going in. So there was this moment of like, yo, I just bought a $1,500 keyboard and I can't even like make the attack longer or the release quicker on this patch. And I probably should have known that going in, but the lesson is that you have to be completely bought into the whole Arturia software ecosystem in order for this to be useful. <laughs> Bro, I haven't seen any footage from, Co I've never been to Coachella. I've never been to a festival, but this looks turn. Upside number two is that the interface for navigating the presets in a live setting is decent, and that's really important to me. You use the Analog Lab software to create playlists, which could just be like a bank of your favorite sounds, or it could actually be the set list separated song by song. It's pretty easy to get to the things that you need to get to. If I had to change one thing though, I would add the ability to add to or swap things out from these playlists on the keyboard itself, rather than having to dive into the software for everything. because. Sometimes I'm in a rehearsal or in a jam and I decide that I want to add a patch to my favorites back and it seems like I can't do that and that's kind of weird. All that aside though, this is kind of a fire video. You're actually listening to him because he's he's literally showing the real world use case for this in the video, so that's pretty fire. You can hardly tweak it at all if you don't buy the soft synth that's generating the preset. I might have bought a few for the video, but they're like 150 bucks each, so I didn't, and it was really limited. Wow, wow. Wow. Wow, okay. That's kind of fucked. All right, I think that went decently. A few hiccups here and there, but uh, not too bad. Probably with more prep, I could have done the whole show on the Astro Lab. So should you buy this? Is it a good keyboard? Well, it's not really that simple. For some, it's probably the perfect thing, and for others, probably not so much. If you're already a big fan of all the Arturia software and you want to ditch the computer live, this is probably a good option. If you're a fan of the Arturia software and you don't mind playing with the computer live, then there's probably no reason to really shell out for this when you could just use a MIDI controller. If you don't use any of the Arturia software and you don't plan on starting, then don't bother. This is not for you. If you found- Damn. 
Yeah, okay, so what are you guys thinking? Copper drop. I mean, honestly, it's kind of crazy that it doesn't come with the plugins. I wonder what it does come with. Like, again, I already have Arteria Lab, so, I mean, Analog Lab, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, you're saying it probably comes with Analog Lab, but not the V Collection. Okay, now tell me details. What did it say? 34 iconic types of instruments. Astrolabs give you instant access to presets from a range of expertly engineered instruments all in one place. Okay, so you know what? Maybe it comes with all these, but you don't have every preset? I wanna hear you guys, cop or drop on the Astrolab, let me know in the chat. I'm leaning towards, I mean, I like things. I like things, bro. <sighs> but it seems like this is literally just for live musicians. I don't see any reason, like literally I have the, what is that? The Key Lab 49. How many keys is on this? The Astrolab is, a 61 key so I could literally just get a 61 key MIDI and just use the plugins so how much is that it's it's 2k bro it's 199.99.99 bro I have the polybrute how much is the polybrute I think it's like 2500 I think it might only be $500 more hardware synthesizers this is 3k bro I mean so it's another k you shell out another k but you get a pretty sick synth I don't know, honestly, like, I might say drop, you guys. I might have to say drop, unless you're a live musician or if you're a hardware person. If you're somebody who only uses an MPC or only uses straight up hardware, then it's fire. Then I'd say cop. But for me personally, if they sent it to me, I'd use it. And I might hit them up because the way I see myself using this is I've been trying to learn keys or, okay, let me not lie. I haven't been trying, but I want to. So the way I see it, if I get something like this, it'll be a cool inspiration to learn keys. I could be sitting outside in my backyard, just like having good vibes, practicing keys. So for this, I am I think I'm definitely going to hit them up. And then I can actually show you guys and we can do a real, real, real deal, holy field copper drop and figure out what this thing does. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama.